Hello friends, welcome to Advanced Mathematics 2. I hope all of you know the subject code uh, is mat diff for not 1. Friends, uh, myself is uh, Dr. S. S. Benchali working as a professor at Department of Mathematics, Basveshwar Engineering College, Bagalkot. So, in this session, uh, we are going to learn what you mean by a Laplace transform and why we want to use a Laplace transform, how we are going to use Laplace transform and how we are going to define a Laplace transform and what are the important properties of a Laplace transform. Right. Suppose, if I want to find a Laplace transform of a given function, then I need some formulas. What are the formulas essential to find the Laplace transform for the given function? Right. And what are the objectives of the Laplace transform? Friends, here I am going to define a Laplace transform. Right and I am going to define a linearity property of a Laplace transform, right. Find the Laplace transform of some standard functions, is it clear? So, these are the objectives of this session as well as you can take these objectives as the outcomes of the Laplace transform. It means after the completion of this session, you must be able to define a Laplace transform and you must be able to use a linearity property for the Laplace transform and you must be able to find Laplace transform for some standard functions. I hope you may or it may understood that what do you mean by standard functions. Right, because we are already familiar with calculus, we are already familiar with differentiation and integration. Right. So, standard functions means say for example, differentiation of a constant function, we are able to find out what is the integration of a constant function, is it clear? And what is the differentiation of sin x, cos x, it means differentiation of all trigonometric functions, is it clear? Right. So, we call it as an sin x, cos x, etcetera as standard functions, is it clear? Exactly in the similar way, suppose if they give a constant function, how we are going to find out the Laplace transform of a, a constant function, is it clear? Right? Exactly in the similar way, suppose if they give sin of 2t, what is the Laplace transform of sin 2t, is it clear? Laplace transform of a cos 2t, what is the Laplace transform of a e to the power minus 2t, is it clear? So, we call all these functions as a standard functions, is it clear? Right. So, here we are going to learn how do we find out the Laplace transform of all these standard functions, is it clear? Right. So, before defining into the Laplace transform, so I wanted to give an introduction to the Laplace transform, is it clear? Right. So, it means why I want to use a Laplace transform, is it clear? Right. And how do we define a Laplace transform? Right. So, the important mathematical tool known as the Laplace transform is named for the great French mathematician Pere Simon de Laplace between 1749 to 1827, who studied its properties, but uh, was probably used earlier by Euler. Is it clear? So, this transformation will be useful to us because it removes derivatives from the differential equations, is it clear? Friends, so we know that in engineering field, right, most of the problems can be write down in differential equation, right. So, in a differential equation means uh, mostly in the form of ordinary differential equation, is it clear? So, may be on constant coefficients right or may be an any other form of the differential equation. Is it clear? After uh, defining the differential equation, we will find out the method 
for finding the solution of a differential equation. Is it clear? Right. So, we will find out the method means we will find out the most easiest method. Is it clear? Right. So, what is the easiest method to solve a differential equation? Is it clear? Right. So, you assume that we are already familiar uh, with some methods, namely uh, variable separable method, homogeneous method, exact method, linear method, etcetera. Right. So, we have studied some methods, we are able to solve a differential equation. Is it clear? Suppose, if the given equation is an non homogeneous differential equation, then first I have to find out complementary function, then I can find out particular integral, then only I am able to obtain the general solution of the given differential equation. Is it clear? Instead of using those methods, right? Suppose, if I use a Laplace transform method, is it clear? Right? So, immediately I will get the solution. Right. It means that uh, when I apply the Laplace transform to a given differential equation, given differential equation can be converted into an algebraic equation. Right. So, once I am able to obtain the algebraic equation, uh, immediately I will get the solution of the given differential equation. That is why people will say that uh, this method is uh, a most easiest method uh, when we compare with the other methods. That is why we are going to use a Laplace transform. That is why we are going to uh, utilize a Laplace transform. Is it clear? Right. So, because of this reason we want to study a Laplace uh, transform. Is it clear? Suppose, if I want to acquire more knowledge about a Laplace transform, then I must refer uh, very good textbooks, uh, namely Advanced Engineering Mathematics by Daniel Zill and Wright, as a clear, or you can refer Higher Engineering Mathematics by B. S. Grewal. So my request is to refer at least two textbooks. It means more than one textbook. Suppose if you want to compare how they have defined a definition of a Laplace transform in one textbook to other textbook, that's why uh, we, we can refer at least two textbooks. If you refer more than two textbooks, it's well and good. Is it clear? Right. So, I wanted to give an idea about a Laplace transform. Is it clear? Actually, what do you mean by a Laplace transform? Right. The Laplace transform converts integral and differential equation into an algebraic equation. Friends, sometimes Laplace transform can also be called as integral transform. Is it clear? Right. As I have mentioned earlier, it can be used to solve a differential equation. Differential equations uh, can be converted into an algebraic equation. It applies to general functions. As clear. In mathematics, so we call it as an functions. So, they will give a function. Right. So, in engineering, especially in electronics, they will call it as an signals. As clear. Right. So, it can also be applied to analyze complicated circuits with source, inductance, resistance and capacitance. Is it clear? Right. So, for example, uh, most of the complicated or uh, circuits can be converted into or can be write down in the form of a differential equation. Right. Then uh, we are going to solve such a type of differential equation using Laplace transform. Is it clear? Right. So, Laplace transform is a powerful technique to solve differential equations. It transforms an initial value problem in ordinary differential equation to algebraic equations. Is it clear? The original problem or solving the differential equation of the circuit, right? Sometimes functions may be piecewise continuous and periodic could be a difficult using an uh, earlier technique as a clear right so i am going to introduce what you mean by pcs uh, p sorry piecewise continuous and periodic functions as a clear so it means so we are able to solve the given initial value problem right or algebraic equation then back transform to the original problem it means inverse transform as a clear we are going to discuss all these things in the next one or two sessions is it clear? Right. So, before defining the Laplace transform, right. So, I wanted to give uh, about a calculus. Is it clear? Right. I wanted to talk about a calculus. In elementary calculus, we learn that uh, differentiation and integration are transforms. This means, uh, roughly speaking, that uh, these 
operations transform a function into another function. That's clear, right? For example, the function f of x is equal to x square is transformed in turn into a linear function. That's clear. It is a quadratic equation. Quadratic equation can be converted into a linear equation or a family of cubic polynomial functions, right? And a constant function, right? By using the operate uh, operations of differentiation, that's clear. Indefinite integration and definite integrations, that's clear. Friends, uh, given function can be transformed into a linear function or a cubic polynomial or a constant function by using the operators. What are the operators? Maybe an differentiation. What is the differentiation operator? Say for example, d by dx. That's clear. Suppose if I apply d by dx on this function, it can be converted into a linear function or uh, other forms. That's clear. Suppose if I apply integration symbol, then it can be converted into a cubic polynomial or a constant function. Is it clear? Right? So, how do we uh, same concept can be represented in another form? Namely, how do we convert a parabolic curve into a straight line passing through origin? Right? Straight line passing through a point 0, 2 or non periodic curve passing through origin. Is it clear? Right? So, what they have given? They have given a parabolic curve. Now, I want to obtain 1, 2, 3. Is it clear? How we are going to obtain it is exactly similar to as I have mentioned just now. Is it clear? Say for example, by using a differentiation. Is it clear? So, this is the parabolic curve and you can obtain the straight line, blue blue line color. Is it clear? Right? So, what is the given function? The given function is x square. Is it clear? Suppose, if I differentiate x square, I can obtain 2 x. If I draw the diagram of 2 x, I hope we can obtain a straight line. Is it clear? Right? And one more uh, thing is, I want to obtain, if I want to obtain a straight line passing through the point 0, 2, if you differentiate one more time, I hope I can obtain 2. And if you draw the diagram, I hope you will get the straight line passing through this point. Is it clear? So, now I want to obtain non parabolic curve passing through the origin. Is it clear? So, what they have given? They have given x square, right? So, now I want to integrate this function. So, if I integrate, then I can obtain 1 by 3 times of x to the power 3. If I draw the curve, I hope you will get a curve like this. Is it clear? So, it means roughly speaking, I can say that differentiation and integration, these two methods, we may call it as an transformation methods. Is it clear? Friends, so we come to know that we are already familiar with transformation method. Is it clear? Right? So, now we want to extend the transformation methods. Is it clear? Right? So, one property on uh, uh, differentiation and integration is linearity property. Is it clear? So, what do you mean by a linearity property in differentiation and integration? Is it clear? It is a process that uh, process the sorry process possesses the linearity property it means differentiation and integration possesses the linearity property this means the transform of a linear combination of functions is a linear combination of the transforms for example alpha and beta are constants suppose if it is like this d by dx of alpha into f of x plus beta into g of x that is equal to alpha into, if I apply derivative on this function, I hope I can obtain f single prime of x plus beta into z single prime of x. Is clear? Exactly in the similar way, integration of alpha is constant f of x plus beta into z of x with respect to x. Is clear? This can be or this is equivalent to alpha into integration of f of x dx plus beta into integration of z of x dx. Is it clear? Or in case of definite integral, integration of a to b alpha into f of x plus beta into z of x with respect to x. That is equal to uh, alpha into integration of a to b f of x dx plus beta into a to b z of x dx. Is it clear? So, it means linearity property is holds good 
in differentiation as well as a integration right so before going to uh, before defining the laplace transform now i wanted to give one more information about a complex numbers so because uh, so this plays an important role in uh, complex numbers as clear we are already familiar with uh, complex numbers in cartesian form as clear friends uh, so we are going to define or we are going to write down z is equal to x plus j into i y so usually you will write x plus i y right instead of using i sometimes we can also use j as clear that's why purposely i have used j uh, when you refer uh, more textbooks you will come to know in some textbooks uh, they have defined in this form x plus j into y as clear i will give what is the meaning of z right so x is equal to suppose if i write like this r of z r of z means what a real part of z is it clear right the real part of z suppose sometimes we will write y is equal to i of z i of z means what the imaginary part of a complex number z is it clear and j is equal to square root of minus 1 in engineering notation sometimes or in the usual way we will write i is equal to square root of minus 1 is it clear right so similarly complex number in polar form right so we are going to write down in this form z is equal to r into e to the power i into pi or j into pi is it clear right so here r is the modulus or magnitude of z right exponential of e to the power i is equal to cos phi right plus j into sin phi we are already familiar with this you can write down e to the power or exp of is it clear both are same right and a complex exponential of z is equal to x plus j y it can be written as e to the power z is equal to e to the power x plus j y that is equal to e to the power x into e to the power j y and by euler's formula it can be write down e to the power x into cos y plus j into sin y right so we need all these things okay now we have acquired some preliminary knowledge to define a laplace transform as clear i hope now we are uh, capable to define the laplace transform okay let f be a function or it may be a signal defined for t is greater than or equal to 0 then the integral or it can be written as l of f of t is equal to integration of 0 to infinity e to the power minus times of s into t into f of t dt so this is the basic definition of a laplace transform is it clear and this is exactly equal to f of s f of s means what it is a function of s it means so they will give the function maybe a constant function or maybe a trigonometric function or maybe an exponential function so for example if it is sin of 2t as clear or e to the power 2t or it may be a simple t or it may be t square or any other function what is the laplace transform as clear here l is the operator capital l is the operator how we have used the operators in differentiation as clear uh, we have used the capital d is the operator in differentiation is clear you can operate d on any function is clear exactly in the similar way here l is the laplace transform it can be operate on the given function and it can be write down in this form is clear l of f of t right that is equal to integration of 0 to infinity e raised to minus st f of t you can write down the given function if it is t here you want to write t if it is sin 4t write down sin 4t if it is cos 2t write down cos 2t is clear after evaluation of this integration so what you will get you will get a function of s is clear it means uh, your final answer must be in terms of s is clear what do you mean by f of s right for those s yes belongs to c capital, uh, capital c c means what set of all complex numbers just now i have mentioned uh, how we are going to define a complex number in cartesian as well as polar form here a small s belongs to this set 
for which the integral makes sense is it clear right is said to be laplace transform of f provided the integral converges is it clear right the result is a function of s it means your final answer must be in terms of s and it is very interesting right the given function is a function of t it is in terms of t after evaluating your final answer must be in terms of s why it is so you may ask is it clear right you may ask one question on yourself given function is t or in terms of t right when you apply the definition of a laplace transform i will obtain a function of s is it clear is it not a magic is it clear right so t becomes s right so that is the uh, special property of a laplace transform or we can say that it is a special function is it clear right so i wanted to give the units for uh, these uh, parameters right here f is a complex valued function is it clear it means it is a complex valued function right of a complex numbers s is called right the complex frequency variable is it clear right with unit sec inverse right t is called the time variable in seconds s t is unitless is it clear right when you multiply s into t there is no unit for s into t is it clear now you should remember these things right i will give few more information about the definition because the same definition can be defined in various forms is it clear right i have given only one definition right so before giving into the another form i want to give notations is it clear friends because we are going to use different notations as i have mentioned in the earlier is it clear when we refer our uh, textbooks so we will come to know different notations is it clear there should not be an confusion with the uh, notations is it clear in one textbook they have written uh, small f in another textbook they have written uh, capital letter f is it clear right so i am going to give a uh, common notation for the convenient is it clear right so if a function t is indicated in terms of a lower case letters such as f of t it means our given function may be in this form or z of t or y of t etc is it clear right so these are the given functions suppose if i want to find out what is the laplace transform of f of t is it clear right the laplace transform of the function is denoted by corresponding upper case letters that is f of s is it clear right when you apply l on this function what we will get you will get capital f of s is it clear right so exactly in the similar way here g of t is the given function when you apply l on this function you will get right hand side capital g of s is it clear right and uh, similarly laplace transform of y of t left hand side what is the right hand side capital y of s etc right now exactly in the similar way so here small f of t small g of t small y of t are the given functions when you apply capital l on these functions you will get right hand side functions in this form namely capital f of s capital g of s capital y of s is it clear i hope there is no doubt about the notations is it clear or vice versa is it clear in some textbooks uh, they may use capital letters for the given function is it clear right so for example capital f of t is the given function and small f of s is the laplace transform of the given function is it clear capital g of t is the given function small g of s is the laplace transform of capital g of t is it clear right and similarly capital y of t may be the given function what is the laplace transform of that function small y of s is it clear right or we can use another notation right a tilde t i l d e is it clear or this notation how we are going to pronounce it 
field is it clear can be used to denote the laplace transform thus for example the laplace transform of u of t how we are going to represent u tilde is it clear right above the letter u we want to write down this is a symbol is it clear and uh, you should remember always it is a function of s is it clear right so uh, according to our convenient uh, we can use our notations or our own notations is it clear right friends just now i told that uh, laplace transform can be defined in various forms is it clear i wanted to give a uh, few more information about the definition of a laplace transform is it clear still i am not happy about the uh, definition of a laplace transform right so as i have mentioned right it is containing two variables namely t and s is it clear here f of t is the given function right suppose if i apply l on this function right after integrating as i have mentioned i can obtain f of s it means here t is converted into s is it clear here i can say that s is the parameter right so it means t can be converted into s is it clear right so it is understood that it is containing two planes right so you can say that a left hand is one plane a right hand is another plane right i may call it as an t plane left hand is called t plane a right hand is called s plane now i want to now i have two planes i want to transform functions from left hand to right hand is it clear right then i can transform t into s our right hand means it is a function of s left hand means it is the given function like that you can remember and you can say that t can be transformed into s as i have mentioned here s is the parameter right s the s is the parameter means it may be a real or it may be a complex is it clear s may be a real or may be complex right so you should remember this point while defining the laplace transform is it clear and you have to remember one more important thing is it clear right so they will give f of t right as i have mentioned you can apply laplace transform on the given function is it clear right so here i want to think for each and every function can i able to find out a laplace transform is it clear sometimes i am able to find out the laplace transform for the given function sometimes i am unable to find out the laplace transform for the given function is it clear so what it means right so here uh, i have to verify whether can i apply laplace transform for the given function or not is it clear for that reason i have to test one condition what is that condition that is sufficient condition is it clear right so f of t satisfies that sufficient condition then only i can say that i am able to find out laplace transform for such type of functions is it clear then you may ask what is that sufficient condition is it clear right it means given function must satisfy these two conditions is it clear right here i have written piece wise continuous it means given function is a piece wise continuous what do you mean by a piece wise continuous you just observe this arrow is it clear right i hope you, now you are observing uh, this graph right it means uh, you want to divide the given interval into a finite number of uh, sub intervals is it clear say for example here 0 to 1 1 to 2 and uh, i hope you can uh, uh, observe 2 to 3 is it clear now you are observing uh, three intervals is it clear right in these three intervals you can take any sub interval so for example if you consider first interval 0 to 1 right in this interval function is continuous is it clear or why you may ask why i want to take only first interval right so you can consider another sub interval 1 to 2 in this sub interval function is continuous is it clear or if you consider another interval 2 to 3 in this case also function is uh, continuous it means uh, if you consider any sub interval right in that interval 
given function must be continuous right such type of functions we call it as an piece wise that is why I have highlighted two words uh, actually it is a single word piece wise continuous right. If you consider any piece in that piece function is continuous that is one condition satisfies the given function in that case only we can say that function is eligible to apply Laplace transform. What is the another condition right I can say that f of t is a function exponential order is it clear right here I want to evaluate uh, given function with the exponential function e to the power minus s into t f of t it means uh, it should be an exponential order then only I can say that uh, f of t is eligible to apply a Laplace transform right you do not worry I am going to give uh, detail uh, about piecewise and exponential order right first uh, how we are going to write down a piecewise continuous function is it clear right a given function f is piecewise continuous on the interval a to b is it clear a is one number b is another number so for example you can take a is equal to 1 b is equal to 2 like that you can replace a and b by any two numbers is it clear then the interval a to b can be broken into a finite number of sub intervals it means you can divide this interval into a finite number of intervals in this form is it clear say for example a is equal to t naught right is less than t1 is less than t2 is less than t3 some numbers and so on and finally is less than tn that is equal to another number say b is it clear such that f is continuous in each sub intervals you can take any sub interval in that interval function must be continuous is it clear and another condition is the function f has jump just now we have observed the graph is it clear uh, f has a jump discontinuity at t i is it clear or you can replace i by any number thus it must satisfy these two conditions a modulus of f of t as t tending to t i plus is it clear what we call it as a left hand side right hand side limit which is less than infinity i can be replaced by any one of the, these numbers exactly in the similar way a limit of f of t t tending to t i to the power minus which is less than infinity and I can be replaced by any one of these numbers any function satisfies these two uh, conditions then we call it as an uh, it is a piecewise continuous function is it clear right I can give one uh, simple example for piecewise continuous right and uh, sorry the function uh, is defined in this form so f of t is equal to t square and uh, t square is defined in this uh, form 0 is less than or equal to t is less than or equal to 1 is it clear or f of t can be write down 3 minus t in the interval 1 is less than t is less than or equal to 2 is it clear or f of t is equal to t plus 1 2 is less than t is less than or equal to 3 is piecewise continuous in the interval 0 to 3 is it clear right just now I have explained a general continue piecewise continuous function as a clear right in the interval a to b here I have replaced a by 0 b by 3 it means here the entire function is defined in the interval 0 to 3 this interval can be broken into three parts first in sub interval is 0 to 1 second sub interval is 1 to 2 and last sub interval is 2 to 3 is it clear right so in these three intervals function is continuous is it clear right so i hope you can observe right so in all the sub intervals red line is continuous it is not discontinuous it is discontinuous means there is no gap between the red line i hope you cannot find out any red sorry any gap in between these two points any gap in between these two points we cannot find out any gap between these two points that is why we can say that uh, graphically it is uh, continuous uh, in all the three sub intervals is it clear 
right. So, exactly in the similar way I can give one more uh, example the function defined f of t is equal to 1 over 2 minus t 0 is less than or equal to t is less than 2 or f of t is equal to t plus 1 in the interval 2 is less than or equal to t is less than or equal to 3. It means the interval is 0 to 3 is divided into 2 intervals right is not piecewise continuous in the interval 0 to 3 is it clear it is continuous right it is continuing in the similar way and you will get uh, one more line and this is this example represents a uh, not piecewise uh, continuous is it clear okay so now we are familiar with piecewise continuous right so i wanted to give one more uh, condition namely exponential order is it clear right so what do you mean by exponential order because it is also an another important condition for the given function right any function satisfies these two conditions then only we can apply laplace transform for such a type of functions is it clear that's why you should know what do you mean by an exponential order right so we can define in this form a function f is said to be of exponential order c c is some constant right if there exist a constant c m is greater than 0 t is greater than 0 m and t are also constants such that modulus of f of t is less than or equal to m into e to the power c into t for all t is greater than t is it clear it means uh, mathematically i can say that any function satisfies this condition then i will call it as an exponential order is it clear right so actually what do you mean by an exponential order right if f is an increasing function then the condition mod of f of t is less than or equal to m into e to the power c into t comma t is greater than capital t is it clear simply states that the graph of f on the interval t to infinity right does not grow faster than the graph of the exponential function m into e to the power c into t right so where c is a positive constant that's clear right so when we draw the graph of this function i hope you will get two graphs right so one is exponential function another one is given function you will get two graphs that's clear right so according to the definition exponential function is also growing given function is also growing as clear here exponential function should not allow to grow the given function such a type of functions we call it as an exponential order right so in that case only we are able to apply laplace transform for such a type of functions right so i can give one or two such a type of examples for example the function f of t is equal to t so you can take f of t is equal to t or you can take f of t is equal to e to the power minus t right or you can take f of t is equal to 2 times of cos t is it clear right so all these three examples are of the type exponential order is it clear right exponential order c is equal to 1 right and here uh, t is greater than 0 since uh, we have respectively you can verify the condition as it clear right so mod of t is less than or equal to e to the power t mod of e to the power minus t is less than or equal to e to the power t right so mod of 2 times of cos t less than or equal to 2 times of e to the power t all these three functions satisfies the definition of exponential order that is why so we can say that uh, these examples are the examples of uh, exponential order is it clear right so if you want you can draw the diagrams of uh, these three functions is it clear and you can compare right so for the first example mod of f of t when you draw the diagram of mod of f of t i hope you can obtain a curve like this is it clear right similarly when you draw the graph of e to the power t exponential graph right it is not allowing to grow f of t means namely mod t is it clear another example is 
modulus of e to the power minus t right this curve and this curve representing exponential function namely e to the power t and here also it is 2 times of cos t I hope this curve is a 2 times of cos t and this curve is 2 times of e to the power t this is not allowing to grow this function right? is it clear that is why so we can say that all these 3 examples are of the type exponential order is it clear right then you may ask to give one example which is not an exponential order is it clear right say for example a function of the type f of t is equal to actually it is e to the power t to the power 2 remember it is e to the power t it should be t square as clear e to the power t to the power 2 right is not of exponential order since as shown in the following diagram its graphs grow faster than any positive linear power of e for t is greater than c is greater than 0 is it clear right so i hope you can obtain exponential function and e to the power t square e to the power t square is growing when we compare with the exponential function that's why it is not an exponential order if it is not an exponential order then it is understood that we cannot find out the laplace transform of this type of function or we cannot find out a Laplace transform of this function that is why before applying Laplace transform to any function we must verify whether it satisfies the exponential order condition as well as piecewise continuous condition as clear any function satisfies those two conditions so we may call it as an Laplace transform or we can apply Laplace transform to such a type of functions, but for this function we are unable to find out the Laplace transform. Okay. Friends, I have defined a Laplace transform, then I have also given uh, conditions for the given functions, whether can we apply Laplace transform to the given function or not, still I am not happy, can we define the same definition in any other form? answer is always yes i can define a same function in other forms as clear say for example l of f of t in the usual form basic definition l of f of t is equal to 0 to infinity e to the power minus s into t f of t dt that is equal to f of s as clear you may ask what is the physical meaning of this symbol as clear right okay mathematically we are able to define in this form what is the physical meaning of this definition friends we can write down the same symbols in terms of words is it clear how we are going to write down in terms of word as follows right so we can write down in this form given f or f of t is it clear so we know that it is a function of t right t means here time right a function of time with value f of t at time t the laplace transform of f is denoted by capital F of S and it gives an average value of F taken over all positive values of T such that the value of F of S represents an average value of F taken over all possible time intervals of length S. As clear. So, this is the physical meaning of this symbol right it means as i have mentioned this definition is containing two planes one is t plane means time plane another one is s plane is it clear right in s plane so what you will get average value of the given function is it clear from one point to another point we can represent it as a s that represents a length of the interval right so you can transform these symbols right into word form or you can define a laplace transform of the given function in this form okay i hope now you are familiar with the definition of a laplace transform is it clear 
right. No, now, I can find out some standard functions of the Laplace transform. Now, I want to consider the very simple function a constant function. What is the Laplace transform of a constant or I can in particular what is the Laplace transform of 1 is it clear right. It is very simple just I want to apply the basic definition what we have defined just now right. So, as usual you can write down L of Laplace transform of uh, here uh, it is understood that uh, L means uh, it is Laplace transform right. So, they have given 1 given function is a constant function namely 1 that is equal to integration of 0 to infinity e raise to minus s into t I have replaced f of t by 1 into d t as a clear that is equal to a limit of right I can say that b tends to infinity 0 to b as a clear e to the power minus s into t d t right. Now, as usual you can integrate with respect to t right. So, here two variables are there s and t I can treat s as constant because we are integrating with respect to t right. So, as usual I can integrate minus times of e to the power minus s t divided by minus s with the limits t is equal to 0 to b as clear right. Friends always you should remember these values 0 to infinity are the values of the variable small t as clear right. So, like that I can replace t by 0 t by b as clear and I have to simplify I hope after substituting uh, t is equal to upper limit lower limit I can obtain minus times of e to the power minus s into b plus 1 divided by s as clear right as uh, uh, b tends to infinity it means right. So, it is provided s is greater than 0 right in other words when s is greater than 0 the exponent minus s into b is negative right and e to the power minus s into b tends to 0 as b tending to infinity right the integral gives uh, for s is less than 0 it means finally you will get 1 by s it means when I replace b by infinity right suppose if s is some constant when I multiply some constant into infinity I can obtain infinity only it becomes e to the power minus infinity e to the power minus infinity can be written as 1 over e to the power infinity right. So, 1 over e to the power infinity means 1 by infinity. So, 1 by infinity means 0 is clear right. So, finally, I can obtain 1 by s is clear. Friends, what do you mean by Laplace transform of 1? It means Laplace transform of 1 is equal to 1 over s is clear right. So, it is a very very important example or I can say that important property because in the later stage you want to use it as a formula. What is the Laplace transform of 1? I can say that 1 over s. Suppose if I want to find out what is the Laplace transform of 2 right and it can be written as 2 divided by s. What is the Laplace transform of phi u right? So, phi u divided by s. Why? Because I can write on phi u into Laplace transform of 1 Laplace transform of 1 is 1 over s is it clear. Suppose if I want to find out what is the Laplace transform of 100 right 100 can be written as 100 into Laplace transform of 1 100 into 1 by s or 100 by s is it clear. So, like that we can find out a Laplace transform of any constant not necessarily 1 is it clear right. The integral defining f makes sense for all s with uh, real part of s is greater than 0. It means real part of s is always greater than 0, but the resulting formula for f makes sense for s except s is equal to 0. It means you can take s is equal to any value clear. while drawing the graph right. As I have mentioned it is containing two planes t plane and s plane. What is the graph of t plane and what is the graph of s plane as clear. I have to give some values for s as clear. I have to give some values for t. You can uh, replace s by any number except uh, 0 that is the meaning right. So, when you draw the uh, graph of uh, f of t, I hope you can obtain one curve is like this, another curve is like this. Now, you can evaluate 0 to infinity e to the power minus s into t or uh, here x is a dummy variable instead of t I have considered 
x while uh, drawing the graph right so you can obtain the corresponding uh, value of uh, f of s is it clear i hope you are observing uh, now s is 7379 so i, I have replaced s by 1 to 100 is it clear you can replace s by 1 to 100 uh, i think it is exponentially decreasing is it clear so we'll come to know that as time increases right t means time as time increases right corresponding value is decreasing exponentially that is the observation from s plane is it clear so like that you can find out a laplace transform of any function then we are able to draw the graph of both in t plane as well as in s plane is it clear right so exactly in the similar way now i want to find out what is the laplace transform of t to the power n where n is greater than or equal to 1 right so our t to the power n is the given function now i want to apply capital l on this function is it clear right so uh, by basic definition integration of uh, so 0 to infinity or uh, you can use integration by parts a to b is it clear it is the standard formula so you can use integration by parts right here u of t is equal to t raised to n if you differentiate i hope you can obtain uh, you can take a is equal to 0 b is equal to infinity so by definition of laplace transform f of s is equal to 0 to infinity t to the power n e to the power minus s t dt this is the basic definition of laplace transform simply i have replaced f of t by t raised to n right so by using above formula integration by uh, by parts formula i can obtain minus times of e to the power minus s into t divided by s and i can apply 0 to infinity plus n by s yes, integration of 0 to infinity t to the power n minus 1 into e to the power minus s t dt by applying this formula i can obtain so you want to keep first function as it is into differentiation of a second function is it clear with the limits as usual minus again integration of a to b right derivative of a first function and uh, integration of uh, this function is it clear right so finally i can obtain this uh, uh, formula right laplace transform of t to the power n minus 1 provided a limit of t raised to n into e to the power minus s t is equal to 0 which is true for uh, real part of s is uh, greater than 0 right apply t the formula successively i hope we can obtain f of s is equal to n factorial divided by s raised to n plus 1 it means the laplace transform of t raised to n is equal to n factorial divided by s raised to n plus 1 friends here n is greater than or equal to 1 say for example if i replace n by 2 what is the laplace transform of t square is it right? it is very simple right directly you can use it as a formula 2 factorial divided by s raised to 2 plus 1 it means 2 factorial means 2 2 plus 1 means 3 it means 2 divided by s to the power 3 is it clear right so for example if you want to find out what is the laplace transform of t is it clear it means you can replace n by 1 so what you will get 1 factorial divided by s raised to 1 plus 1 it means 1 by s square laplace transform of t is 1 divided by s square right suppose if you want to find out what is the laplace transform of t to the power 3 right it is very simple 3 factorial divided by s raised to 3 plus 1 is it clear 4 so like that you can find out the laplace transform of t to the power any number is it clear right so replace n where n is greater than or equal to 1 is it clear right so like that you can find out laplace transform of t to the power n or t square exactly in the similar way you can find out laplace transform of e to the power minus 3 t so this is the given function right so you know the basic definition replace f of t by e to the power minus 3 t dt is it clear and e to the power minus s t e to the power minus 3 t right so base is same you can add the powers directly you can integrate substitute upper limit and lower limit i hope you can obtain 1 divided by s plus 3 where s is greater than minus 3 again as i have mentioned right so you can uh, obtain the graph of t function and 
f of uh, s function is it clear right so once again as time increases uh, right so function is uh, decreasing exponentially is it clear right so you can replace uh, s by any number is it clear right from 1 2 3 and so on right here it is given that s is greater than minus 3 replace any number right so when we observe the graph graph is exponentially decreasing as a clear right so exactly in the similar way you can replace instead of minus 3 so you can replace any positive number as a clear you can find out the laplace transform e to the power 3t as a clear the laplace transform of minus 4t minus 5t as a clear or laplace transform of plus 5t plus 6t right so you should remember basic definition right replace f of t by any function as clear right then you want to integrate simple integration as clear right if you remember simple integration i hope you can integrate then you should practice how we are going to substitute upper limit and lower limit right after simplification so you may get a function of s as clear replace s by any constant i hope you can obtain the function of s right in the next uh, session uh, we shall solve some more examples on the laplace transform thank you thank you very much